biggest annual fundraisers for a local charity is in full swing tonight, just in time for the Halloween season. St. Rita Haunted House in Evendale opened its doors this evening to dozens of thrill seekers. The haunt raises money for St. Rita School for the Deaf. Angela Ingram joins us with why Haunted House volunteers need you to come out. Angela. Well, Rob, the haunted house has been drawing in thousands since it opened in 1978, and at one time it had little to no competition, but now it does. And last year, a thief stole the money that volunteers raised for the haunted house. Welcome to my kitchen, right down here. Creepy characters filled this haunted house around every corner. <laughs> You never know what's waiting in the darkness. Oh my God, I'm so scary. I'm 50 years old. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh, enjoyed it. It was so fun. It was so fun. We screamed the whole way through. It's an annual fundraiser that pulls in thousands each year for St. Rita's School for the Deaf. This is more of a service event. It's uh, we don't have our hand out. We're trying to offer a service to people. All of the money raised goes to help children at the school. This is the longest running haunted house, longest continuous running haunted house in the country. Uh, the house itself dates back into the mid 1800s, belonged to a Civil War general by the name of Hinkenlooper. We have 13 schools that come in and do community service work. They're the actors. But the haunted house has faced some obstacles recently. Stiff competition from other haunted houses that have popped up, capitalizing off of the popular Halloween font. And last year, a thief ruined the fundraiser by stealing the cash. It was a very unfortunate happening. Um, the uh, We're just hoping to, to avoid that again and move on. Despite some challenges, volunteers are still scaring up money for a good cause. I think your grandma and your mom are more afraid than you were. Uh, yes, they were. Yes. This is our first haunted house yes. experience. Yes. So for her very first one, you bring her to the creepiest house yes. in the tri Go big or go home. <laughs> And the haunted house has raised just under a million dollars total for the school since it started operating decades ago. This year, volunteers hope to raise between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. The haunted house runs through November second. We have a link to the school's website for times and ticket prices. Go to local12.com. Click on the red Get It button. That'll take you there.